God, look, it's like winter outside. It's minus two. There's frost everywhere. No. I hate cold. Look, people are fishing. It must be super cold. So I just woke up and I'm waiting for Daiwa to arrive in, in like 10 minutes. Because we will go to the flame market. We will drive to another uh, little city to a flame market together. And that's me looking very sleepy. I have sleep in my eyes still, so I have to go wash my face, eat breakfast, do my makeup. And she will be here in the meantime. And I thought I'm gonna vlog because it can be really interesting. I'm doing my makeup now, having my coffee, watching YouTube videos and doing my makeup. And I don't know if you guys can notice, probably not on camera, but a few days ago I made um, shrimp fans for um, for Blogometra's contest. But right after that I had a terrible allergy, like such an awful reaction that I've never had before. I'm allergic to soy and I use these troublous dadas here, but basically they're made of um, surimi, fish and then some soy and stuff. And I also use prawns and uh, prawns have always been hard to digest for me. Um, I had an allergic reaction in I think it's like the fourth day already and it still hasn't gone. Basically what happened, my entire face turned bumpy. The whole, the texture of my skin changed entirely and now I have like frog skin or you know like when you have goosebumps on your hands and your skin is all bumpy, this is what my face looks like and I'm devastated. So gonna show you slightly you can see yeah I think you can see really well all of the bumps on my skin and it's all over my skin see around my eyes like the texture I hate that it's all bumpy it looks so awful and it makes me really self-conscious I think prawns or seafood are the second most popular of allergies so um, I understand why this happened to me and yeah it's so sad that I can't do anything about it you just have to wait have to wait for your body to cleanse um, because my body tried to reject the the stuff it didn't like through my skin and now I'm gonna have to wait till my body cleanses itself basically I have to drink lots of water I really hope my skin will not stay like this. I mean, I hope it will go back to its normal state, but I'm just extremely upset about that. I'm not sure why I'm sharing this with you guys. Sorry about that. But I guess to just kind of warn you to be careful, um, I guess, with seafood because things like that can happen. I have to do my nails because they're all chipped and disgusting, but because we're going to flea market, I'm not sure if that matters. So I wanted to show you guys these three OPI nail polishes I got yesterday because um, I, I told you in my previous vlog that I wanted to get some autumnal shades. OPI is my favorite nail polish brand, they're just the best. And so I got these three extremely beautiful colors. I buy my OPI nail polishes in Salon Pro Shop. It's downstairs of Ido Studio Hair Salon here in Klaipeda. It's on Tilted Street if you're wondering. So I got this one in the color Sprung and it's so beautiful and so unique. Basically it's like a coppery shimmery nail polish but it has lots of like pink and red um, shimmers. And then I got this one, which I'm not, usually I'm not a sparkle girl, but these were just so eye-catching and so pretty that I couldn't resist. And this is, this is probably the prettiest sparkly nail polish I've ever seen. It's called All Sparkly and Gold, and it has these super tiny gold sparkles. It's a very seasonal nail polish, but it's gorgeous. I just couldn't leave it there. And then I got this one, which is their Satin No Top Coat um, Nail Polish. And I saw a sample of how it looks like on the nails and it looked amazing. 
so it's called love angel music baby and one of my subscribers on instagram told me that it was the name of Gwen Stefani's first um, album so I didn't know that and um, it's just this beautiful gold nail polish matte golden color and it's just it's just so beautiful and I absolutely love all three of them and I cannot wait to try them on so guys I'm with Daiwa she's driving and I'm drinking my coffee we have our coffee here and we are off to Dituva I don't think I've been there ever and it's in some village that exactly or that that exactly um, that we both don't know so with GPS we'll try to find this place and the flea market it closes in the afternoon so we still have plenty of time and it, it should be interesting um, have you ever been to flea market? No. no so we both haven't been there um, or at any flea market so I will walk there it might be fun to see it reminds me of Este and Aslan because <laughs> they go to flea markets in London so Anyway, I'll see you there. It's really sunny. It's super cold outside, like only a couple of degrees, but it's thankfully very sunny and nice outside. So guys, we are in Dituva. It was like a 10 minute ride from Klippeda actually. And um, we don't know where is that exactly village. I was trying to search for it on GPS, but uh, we cannot find. We have the exact street and number and the exact village, but that was coming. Oh, she showed me thumbs up so I guess no uh, we, sh we stopped at this uh, grocery shop so I guess someone told her so do you know where it is yeah yay yay we found it guys it was so close to this shop we no it's a house someone's house grocery mm -hmm. so lots of people here actually Oh wow <laughs> lots of clothing <laughs> actually they didn't come here for clothing but I mean why not scarf is on it's only four degrees I have we have our gloves um, so yeah uh, we are putting our hope in Sun because Sun is gonna keep us warm otherwise it's pretty cold I don't even know where to start freaking beautiful chair only for 80 euros so many cool things Oh my gosh, guys, it's so cold today. I'm, um, it's crazy. My ears are like frozen. Oh my god, they're icy. And uh, the worst is my feet. I'm wearing my um, leopard sneakers, these ones, and they don't have any fur inside or anything. So uh, my feet are frozen. It's so, so cold. Hands are fine because I have gloves, but for the feet it's really really cold and I already have runny nose, Daiva also has a runny nose already so although I'm wearing my puffy jacket and stuff, I'm warm here but I should have worn different shoes, my winter boots um, and uh, yeah, if you're wondering where Daiva is she, we stopped to get some coffee. I always said I'm gonna get coffee for both of us so she said just go to the car, don't wait here because it's really really cold so I'm very sorry for her that she has to wait for coffee and the lady who's making coffee she's so <laughs> slow like incredibly slow so that way will get us hazelnut latte we'll see what it will taste like and um, it's actually really nice this flare market you can find some nice clothing I found Benetton um, a grey wool jumper from Benetton and it was only 4 euros so um, that's a really good price, I think. Coffee is here. It's really delicious, actually. The coffee is very good. It's just a bit sweet, but but pretty good. I didn't put any sugar. You didn't put any sugar? But yeah, it's the, the nutty syrup. Yeah. Very tasty. Um, by the way, guys, I wanted to, to thank you for the duck face videos. <laughs> I received... Um, one, two... I received three, but I couldn't open 
from one person I'm gonna try to see if I can do it at home again uh, so thank you so much for those of you who sent me thank you Marta and Adriana the <laughs> hers so was amazing <laughs> yeah Adriana Diva knows Adriana as well from the comments uh, and uh, she's the girl who sent me the BB cream and stuff and so I think her video was so funny but in a good way we were both watching it together and it's, it's just hilarious so I think the final video will be amazing so Adriana went just like that <laughs> she did a duck face like that it was brilliant thank you Adriana so much um, cannot wait to receive more videos from you guys of course if you are willing to send that would be amazing really fun really cool and just I don't know I really like it now we're gonna drink our coffee and discuss the items that we saw um, I don't know what's happening with my hair we'll think whether we need those items or not so I will see you later look what I found guys where is Daiva? here she is what a nice song it's Gabriel something Daiva left me already and my mom just baked an apple pie but I'm so full because we had lasagna, she made lasagna and um, I'm really full, I have no space in my tummy for um, an apple pie and we had some coffee as well so now I'm just gonna relax and uh, check my emails and stuff I'm gonna try to open the video, the duck face video that the girl sent so I just applied this OPI nail polish and sprung and I thought I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is it on my nails. It looks really pretty and really sparkly. Two coats are fine but I applied three just to make it more... just to make it more opaque. And it's really eye-catching. Yay, my Topshop order has finally arrived. But it's so annoying. It takes so long for Topshop orders to arrive. Another thing, their items are extremely overpriced. Even more so than Zara. Zara has really high prices. Um, but Topshop is even more expensive in my opinion. So, this is what I got. Um, oh, the color is actually not what I thought it would look like. I thought it's gonna be more um, of a light blue color. This is kind of like a murky light blue. Okay, so this is the jumper I got, I told you. I've seen so many YouTubers wearing it and when I first saw it on Topshop's website I was like, right, I need this because I love anything and everything with hearts and uh, it's such an interesting material, like a really strange stretchy material but it's it's pretty soft and nice um, it was 38 pounds which is ridiculously overpriced in my opinion uh, it's not worth that much money but I thought it's really beautiful and I really wanted to get it and um, I'm slightly disappointed with the color, it's not really light blue, it's like grey blue. So I was sure that I'm gonna love this jumper, but I don't actually. I don't know, look, it's really short, I think it's supposed to be slightly cropped and boxy, but it looks like it's small for me, and it's not, it's my size, but it's like the... I'm not sure if the length is very flattering, and in my opinion it looks cheap, it looks... Like a very cheap 10 euro, if not less, jumper. I'm not sure if this is flattering. It kind of looks a little bit almost like old fashioned and outgrown, like your childhood jumper. Um, I don't know. So, guys, I guess I'm just gonna end my vlog here. I have nothing interesting to report. I've been doing laundry all the evening, sorting out clothing, sorting out my socks, which is probably the most exciting thing one can do on Saturday evening, right? And my brother just made me a cup of tea, my uh, favorite milk you long tea from my Drama Queen mug. Mm, I love this tea so much. So I guess I'll see you in my next video. Have a good night. It's night here. Or good morning. Depends where you're watching it from. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.